Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is I am recording myself right now in real time, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time. In other words, I don't know what's coming next. So to respect your time, if you are looking for a video where the person's got hindsight in their favor and they're doing a trade recap or something like that, this won't be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted, nitty gritty, dirty look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out, I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will pause the recording software for now and I'll be back at Market Open. Okay, I have an order at 37.10 here for a call. So price needs to pull back a bit more. I'm trading options. If you don't know what options are, or maybe you just vaguely kind of know, but you wanna get a little bit better of an understanding, let me know in the comment section, just put guide please, or options guide, and I'll link you to a free class that I put together called the Big Basics of Options, and it'll walk you through the lingo and uh, you know how all this is working. Options can be very complicated. I know that's kind of the reputation, uh, but that doesn't mean they have to be complicated. And I, I certainly take more of the simplified approach. So if you're interested in learning more, like I said, just let me know in the comment section and I'll, I'll send you to that guide. So, all right, I will pause and I'll keep a close eye on it and we'll see if it wants to drop down a bit more. Okay, I have an order at 38.50 here. So I adjusted it up a little bit. All right, I will pause. Okay, I have an order at 37.70 here. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that one out now. And try for down there at 436 now, so that gives us about 34.70. All right, I will pause. I have an order at 34.70 for a call here. Get close. It's come down a bit more. Come on. In at 3470. And now for just $30, I wanted 60, but was not cooperating and just wanted to not necessarily needed, never felt like I needed to take a loss, never felt like I needed to go for break even. Uh, but I did feel like, okay, not quite going how I thought. Now in hindsight, I realized, Clay, you would have been fine. Correct, hindsight. But in the real world of trading, you don't have hindsight. You've got to make decisions uh, without knowing what comes next. So you're absolutely right. I would have been okay. It did bounce, but again, um, not wrong but the real world, you just don't have that convenience of hindsight. Um, so I just, I determined, you know what? I've given this thing enough time and did not make the move and decided to just take the $30. So if it wants to come down again, be interested around that blue line there. So, all right, first trade, I mean, a winner, but at the same time almost feels like a loser because I mean, it's not like I, I got my, my target or anything like that, but it is what it is. So I will pause. Okay, I have an order at 38.10 here. No, that should be 37.50 if my math is right. So 37.50. All right. Let's go to 36.10 now at this point. Yep, should have stayed at 37.50. Would have been fine. You're just coming down with such force. Okay, 4.35 now. So 34.10.
All right, if this wants to pull down to that blue line, 34.10 is where I'm thinking the contract price will be at that moment in time. I will pause for now. Have an order at 37.10. All right, let's move it right up to there. Thirty-four seventy. So let's see it push up a bit more. Yeah, I like that spot. Thirty-four seventy. All right, I'll pause. Okay, making a move. Kind of. They're always quick, so I'd rather err on the side of caution. And okay, getting close. Close. Ah, oh, that was it. I oh, was just slightly off. See if it wants to try again. Oh, that, yeah, look at that. My entry point was just slightly, slightly off. All right, I'll pause. All right, gonna throw an order out there at 35.50. I don't know if the mic's picking up my daughter, but I am on uh, daddy duty right now with my youngest. So if you do hear voices, it's not like a little gnome or something running around. All right, I will pause. Have an order at 35.30 here. Thirty-four seventy. I'm trying to time it up with something I'm seeing on the two minute chart. Thirty-three seventy now. Again, what you're looking at here is the one minute chart. I'm looking off screen at the two minute and I'm trying to time it up with what I see over there. All right, I'll pause. All right, so let's see if we can get 3270 there in at 3270. Bigger breakout here. Let's see if it wants to settle down a bit. So again, um, did I need to take a loss? No. Did I need to go for break even? No. But do I feel like I needed to just accept $30? Yes. And maybe in hindsight, again, I would have been okay, but there does reach a point where you, where you gotta make a decision. And clearly that entry point was not as nearly as good as what I thought it would be. Um, so, I do like 437 though. So if this move wants to continue on up, I'll be ready for it. I will pause. Well, hindsight can be a, a big old bugger sometimes. Look at this <laughs> move down. Now, let me be very clear. I would not have been holding through all that because that's not what the, you know the strategy I was doing entailed, but it is still kind of funny. So if you've ever been there before, you decide to like, you know what, I need to either take a loss or break even or, or just accept a smaller gain. And then you see it do, hey, it happens to us all. And, and it will always happen because nobody's gonna be perfect. Um, that's why they say hindsight's 2020. Have an order at 35.50 here. For a put, but I'll go ahead and pause. All right, gonna try for a put here at 45.10. Oh, and now it drops. So once again, too slow on that one. I will pause. Okay, gonna try to pick up a put here at 44.10 <laughs> and now it drops. So once again, a little too slow. Been a rough morning. No need to beat around the bush. Been a rough morning, it happens. I will pause. Okay, gonna try now at 42.70. No, I'm, that's a forced trade. That's a totally forced trade. This thing is in no man's land right now. I'm just getting frustrated. I need to go back to my plan, 4010, 
And if it happens, great. If not, so be it. But that that's a forced trade there. The, the frustration is starting to seep into my psychology. I can feel it. And even if it were to work out, still a forced trade because there, there's nothing here at this point to uh, you know, try to base something around. So we'll see if the price can come up some more. Again, I'm at 40.10. I will pause. Okay, I'm gonna try now at 41. <laughs> Once again, maybe a little too late as it comes down, but we'll see if it wants to come back up. I'll give it another chance here. I will pause though. And yeah, was uh, too late, but if it wants to come back up here, I am interested. So who knows, maybe it wants to come straight back up. If it does, I'm waiting for it at 41. I will pause. Okay, getting somewhat close to 41 here. In at 41. And out for 20 bucks. Ah, I went for, can't, I couldn't get it. Could not get it. In fact, I could probably argue with myself and I might be right that I held too long to that anyways. Um, so 37.10, maybe we can try again, but. And in hindsight, yes, I would have been okay, but uh, it was just, it was not giving me what I needed. So not a single trade has worked. No, yes, it's worked if work be, is being defined as, did it make money? Yes, it worked in that sense. But did it work in the sense of what I thought it would do and the profit that I thought it could give me? It has not. I am 0 for 3 with that definition of work. All right, I will pause. I have an order at 37.10. It popped up very quickly, so I don't want to miss a potential continuation, but it didn't. So, all right, I'll pause and quick update that fast. It just turned itself right back around. So I'll go ahead and cancel that order out. Never mind for now. Have an order at 32.50 here for, oh, I had one. I'm gonna go ahead just in case this thing does come down a bit more. So I'm at 29.70 now looking for this thing to actually make a push slightly to these lows here absolute beast beat down. I went to pick up my kids, was pretty sure I was done for the day, but I thought, hey, you never know. And I come back and I see all this. And here, that's one of these, you never know situations because this has been pretty crazy here. All right, I'll pause. Okay, I have an order at 29.10 here. Got close, so let's go to 28.70 now. I'm at 28.70. I will pause. Okay, gonna now go for 29.50 here. I will pause. Have an order at 43.10 now. I'm gonna change it to 42.70 as I get more information here. All right, I'll pause. I should note, I did change strike prices. That's why uh, the contract prices have changed. Again, if you have no idea what I mean when I say strike price, totally fine. Just let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll send you that guide. I will pause. All right, have an order at 4570. Close. Nope. I was basically sitting right there and it didn't want to film me. So I'm not going to risk having this just dump all over me. I'm going to go down. If you scroll back, you'll see that I was basically right there. Best bid, but it was not filming me. I don't want to risk having it 
flush down through. So I, could I do I try at 45 right now? Well, there's the break through that level, but does it bounce is the question. Gonna try at 4450. Try 4350. All right, I'll pause. All right, gonna go for 4350 here. All right, it's putzing around too much. I'm at 4110. I will pause. Okay, I'm at 4310. Getting close. And I'm at 4310. It's just sitting right. Uh, yeah, I just can't do that. It's literally sitting right above my entry point. So I either got to move my order up or move it down. And I'm going to err on the side of caution and just move it down. All right, I will pause. Okay, I'm at 4070 for a call. So looking for somewhat of a double bottom here. And I'm at 4070. I'll pause. Okay, maybe chance here. I will pause. Okay, maybe here. Come on. In. In at 4070. and out for $30 again. Hindsight, I know, I know, but yeah, these movements should happen quicker. I should be getting in and out of these quicker. And if you've watched past videos, this, you know, these comments have more context, but it just should not be, it should not be that difficult. So again, a, another, you know, it worked being defined as I made money, yes, but it did not work in the sense of not being able to get what I thought. All right, well, I'm gonna go back to this level down here at 38.50 now. And if I want to make another move, I'll be ready. I will go ahead and pause. Have an order at 35.50. Ah, came down and bounced back up. All right, never mind. I'll pause. Okay, have an order at 33.10. Go to 3210 now. I will pause. All right, gonna try here at 3250. In at 3250. to add here. Let's see what it wants to do.
Try for one at 30. Got that. So we've got two contracts right now. Yeah. yeah. I got it okay. Um, but uh, can I uh, leave on the closet line? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Sorry, my daughter. Can you right now? Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to try for one here at 28.50. That was my daughter that came in, so I'm not talking to myself. Okay. Looking for this thing to give me a bit of a bounce. All right, I will pause for now and I'll keep you updated. Okay, gonna try for another one here at 28. Got that. Go ahead and pause for now. Okay, maybe some movement here. Needs to hit 30 for my first profit potential. So there's 30. So all out there for $260. So that was a good trade. And that is also the benefits of giving yourself flexibility. Broken record time for you longer time viewers, but that's why I start with one contract. Because am I gonna make a bunch on one contract? I'm not. If I'm right, right away, then yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna make a whole lot. But when things get a little, you know, when things go down and you know, things behave in a way that's well within the strategy, then there's still flexibility there. And I saw nothing here that made me need to necessarily panic. Now, let me be very clear. If this was just a huge, massive, massive, massive red candle that just, you know, obliterated and the contracts just completely, you know, dropped out, then that's a different situation. Uh, but that was not the case here. Uh, the case here was that it was just a slow, methodical move and just pick some up. And I will say, though, I did have my, my stop was right there uh, at those lows. Do I try again? I mean, look, look at this thing come back down. Uh, I mean, why not? This is some good movement here. Let me chain strike prices. So if this one wants to come down some more, then I'll be ready. So yeah, well, I got out there by the, got the move up, but yeah, that was my stop. So I would have been stopped out here, but went sideways and then I got the move up which you know, in my mind was just around right the corner. And the reason for that, to give a little bit more context, I mean, when you go through the history of this, it's, gone, it's made those moves, but then you know, you, you'll get those green little pops. Uh, right there was a big green pop and there was another one. So history just, just repeated itself all over again. 
and th things turned out actually for a nice little trade there. So I know Clay, but you were down so much more than 260. Yep, you're right. And if, if you want to understand more of the risk reward and how this is working within the strategy, just comment um, risk, uh, risk, uh, risk video. So put risk video in the comment section. I'll know what I'll, you're talking about and I'll link you to a video that goes over uh, you know, what I'm doing here with, uh, and the data that I use in that one's got over 300 trades. So 300 trades and I explain how the risk reward is working because I, I do understand what you would be saying. Clay, you were, that was flashing a whole lot more uh, than 260. Like you, you were down a way more than what you ended up making 260. 100% accurate observation, but you're missing a little bit of context. So like I said, if you want that context, then just uh, comment risk video and I will send you a link to that, which as of the recording of this, I, I did not that long ago. Wow, we're almost at 30 minutes for this video. Well, if you're still here right now, then as far as I'm concerned, we're friends, but I'll go ahead and pause. But yes, I am gonna go ahead and call it good. Um, I'm gonna, I, I wanna just move on with my day and um, nice little bounce here. So again, same, well, I guess not the same thing because that would have really burnt though. Ow, that would have, that would have been so annoying. Cause like I said, I would have been stopped out right there to have then to just get stopped out and then have that even bigger move happen. Oh, I, I, I was, I was right on the verge of a very, very annoying, very, very frustrating day. And it's, it'll happen to me again at some point. I mean, it's never going to not happen, but it does feel good when it doesn't happen. And wow, so close to it. So I'm glad I didn't get totally greedy on those ones. Um, I was thinking, I should, have let, should I let this thing get up to that blue line? And no, I shouldn't have because it came back over now. The idea was right, but I was wrong in the sense of, but it was gonna come down here and bottom out again before getting back up to that blue line. Um, so yeah, I played that one right, but oh, that would have been, I'm, I'm trying to rationalize. No, no, it, it, it went down below those lows. Oh, whew. so I'll tell you what, the, my my day now feels even better because to, to know that I was that close to being, not only having to take a loss, but then having it turn right around and do what I thought it was gonna do. Oh, wow. Have you ever been there before? Where you're like, oh, great, now that I exit, now you're gonna do what I thought you're gonna do? I, I, I was right there, so close. All right, well, that's all I have for you. So if you're still here right now, we are friends as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but again, if you want either the guide for the options or the video that better explains kind of the, the risk and how things work within this, uh, then like I said, let me know down in the comment section. But as always, if you enjoy these live trade videos, if you like just the raw nature of it all, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.